So here it is, yeah. our answer for you, brought to you by AJ. Leave that with me a sec, and, and just crack on. I've been practicing my chords lately. I think that's a G. So how to automatically cut out background noise from your video clips? This is a question I saw on a Facebook group recently, but someone had a long piece of dialogue that had some unwanted background noise when the person stopped talking. And rather than go through a whole long clip and cut out each section individually or turn the volume up and down each time, they wanted to know if there was an automatic way of doing it, a plug-in that could do that for you, and thankfully there is. This does come from the world of sound engineering and music recording, and it's a thing called a noise gate. In Premiere Pro, they've called it the auto gate, just to confuse you a little, but it's a plugin which will automatically cut out any unwanted background noise when your speaker stops talking. So in Premiere Pro here, we've got a clip of me from a previous video, and as you can see in the audio file, I talk in the middle section, but there's sections where I've stopped talking where there is some unwanted background noise. It might be some noise from the microphone, it might be me shuffling around or breathing. It's noise that we want to cut out and we want to cut out automatically. The Canon G7X Mark III and G5X Mark II, which of these two 2019 releases should you consider for video? Let's get the plugin on there and let's have a look at how it works. So we select the clip, go over to the effects window. In the search bar, we're gonna type in dynamics. We're gonna drag that and drop that onto the audio track. Go up to the effects control window and let's click edit on dynamics and open it up. Let's select that so it's switched on inside dynamics. And now all we have to pay attention to is these four controls, threshold, attack, release, and hold. And before we use those, we kind of need to understand how they work. So the best way to think about a noise gate is like an on and off switch, which automatically turns that channel on or off once the volume reaches a certain threshold, which is why there is the threshold control. So we set that threshold to a figure that once the voice breaks it, then the channel is switched back on and you can hear it. And once the voice dips back under it and there's no talking, then that channel is switched off. So the threshold is at what volume the noise gate will start working. The attack, that's a little bit more self-explanatory. That's how quickly the channel will turn back on once the threshold is broken. The hold is how long it will stay open once the threshold is broken. And the release is how quickly it will shut again once the voice drops below the threshold. So by playing with these different parameters, you'll hear how it affects the voice and how we need to be very careful of how we set this. The Canon G7X Mark III. So if the threshold's too high, you'll get that kind of stuttering effect there where it's switching on and off too quickly. And G5X Mark II. Obviously I need to drop the threshold down to a lower level. Which of these two 2019 releases should you consider for video? The thing to pay attention to there, if I set the threshold too low, then some of the noise will trigger the auto gate to turn on because it's at a higher level. So we need to find a delicate balance between letting the voice through and cutting the noise out. There's no quick way of doing that. That is just paying attention, listening to how the gate is working. We want the attack to be slightly slower than that. We don't want it to be too choppy a sound. We want to try and recreate a natural sound to this. So I'm gonna set the attack to around minus two. The Canon G7X Mark III and G5X Mark II. So I can hear that it's not holding it open long enough. So I'm gonna hold that open for 12 milliseconds. Which of these two 2019 releases should you consider for video? And I can also hear that that gate is shutting too quickly, so I want to slow that down as well, the release. And let's listen back to that. The Canon G7X Mark III and G5X Mark II, which of these two 2019 releases should you consider for video? Now that's done a pretty good job at cutting out the background noise and just letting the voice through. As you can imagine, if that was a whole long couple of minutes of dialogue, that saved me quite a lot of time from having to cut out all the unwanted noise. Now, there is a caveat to that, as with most things, there's a compromise to be had. And as you can hear, when you dip to silence with audio, it becomes very noticeable when the noise comes back in. That's an unavoidable problem. Thankfully, there is a fix to that, and we did cover it in a previous audio tutorial. It's using a thing called room tone. I'm gonna to grab my room tone and place it underneath. And this just acts as a bit of glue for the ear, so the difference between silence and the talking is less noticeable. The Canon G7X Mark III and G5X Mark II, which of these two 2019 releases should you consider for video? 
And there we have it. We've automatically cut out the background noise from that video clip without distracting from the ear too much by using room tone. It's a great little tool which will hopefully save you a whole bunch of time if you have a long video clip with lots of background noise in that you want to cut out. Right, still practicing? That was uh, a tune by Ed Sheeran, you might have recognised. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran? Ed Sh 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 Sharon. Sharon. What's the title? That. How to remove unwanted background noises from your videos automatically. Yes, yes. Good catchy uh, song, that. Yeah, you know, I, when I say it's, it's a song by Ed Sheeran, I wrote it for him. He may use it in the future. And if he does, that's fine. I'll make some money. He'll get a number one Would hit. Would it be copyright free? Much like the Watermelon Squad Music Library. Well, that reminds me. If you're looking for music for your video, check our check us out down here. Mm. That's it. Reach down. Have a rummage. Down the front. Re just reach down below the video. We've got some stuff there for you. We put it there. Rummage on through. If they stood behind the video, would they reach around? Yeah, you'd you'd have to reach. Yeah, around. you'd have to give a, give the video a reach around. Join us on Patreon, where you can have access to our music library for you. We say it's ours, it's it's all of ours. Everyone's. Yours, ours, we share it, you can use it for your licensed videos, and, you know, enjoy. Mm. And uh, whilst you're down there, there's our random affiliate link of the week. Wow. That's gonna be of interest, because we put something that you might not be expecting in there, but it's great. What uh, do the thumbs do? Thumbs up means Pete is cool, Thumbs down means I hate life. That's fair. And whilst you're thinking about that, you know, maybe think about joining us on Monday too for our next video, yeah. which will be about something yeah. somewhere, uh -huh. probably to do with making videos. It will definitely be of a tutorial nature, mm. and that is helpful. Yes, we so, are helpful. So enjoy the weekend. Maybe use your new skill over the weekend and um, have fun. Bye. Bye.